In this video, we are going to learn about expression transformation. Expression transformation is used to write any kind of rules, any kind of calculations, any kind of uh, formulas that you want to write on the attributes of your data. To create an expression, you go to transformations and uh, drag and drop expression onto the designer. As you can see here, it has uh, two nodes, input and output. Input is empty and you need to bring in the attributes using which you want to write your formula. For example, in this case, uh, my source contains uh, data for the customers. And as you can see here in the, at the bottom uh, in the preview, it has information uh, about the customers and it has information about uh, the address and it, is, uh, it has the street address, it has a city, it has a postal code and it has a country. Say if I want to combine these four into one entity and call it full address, I could do that. I can concatenate these four and uh, send them into one output for that. Since I'm going to use these four uh, attributes from source, let's go ahead and drag and drop those four attributes. The first attribute is going to be the address and that goes to the new member and then the city. You can drag and drop postal code and then country so these are the four attributes you want to work with so in any case wherever you want to write any expression you'll drag and drop all the attributes that you want to work with so now you have uh, these four available let's go ahead and look at the properties of the expression so you can verify the four attributes that you mapped and uh, that you created inside expression input you can see them here inside the elements you go to the next page and this is where you write your expression as you can see here expression is divided into two parts the first part is uh, the top part is uh, a list of inbuilt functions these functions you can use to write the expression so these uh, functions are uh, divided into different categories such as uh, conversion, logical, name and address parsing, math functions, string functions, financial functions, regular expressions, files, date time, and so on and so forth. So you can do the filtering by the top, or if you want, you can see all, then it shows all the different functions. You can use any of these functions, and uh, you can see here for each of the function, it shows uh, uh, the attributes that it takes. For example, this function add once. What it does that if the first attribute it takes is uh, a date time and adds the number of months. So say for example, uh, you want to write a formula where uh, you want to take a date and increment it by certain number of months. So you'll, you'll put your input in the first uh, as a first parameter and second parameter will be how many months you want to increment it with. So that's how you'll use this function. If you want to use any kind of expression building uh, with the conditional operations, you can see here uh, it has a list of inbuilt uh, um, if functions such as uh, you see here these are five different uh, flavors of if function and the first uh, parameter you can see here is the condition and uh, then value and then else value you can do similarly for or different things depending on data types such as this is uh, for the boolean this is for date this is integer this is real and in string then there are uh, functions such as exists if it is a date or not it is an integer or not if it is null or not and you can see for it is null, there are different flavors depending on the data type. You can check if it is numeric, it is real number, and so on and so forth. These are logical functions. So similarly, you can see for conversion, you have functions to convert uh, incoming data type into any other data type. Say for example, you get a date value and you, you want to convert that to text, you can use this. Uh, you got string value and you want to convert that to date, you can use this function. So these are the conversion functions. Then we have uh, name and address parsing functions where you can uh, give a full address and we parse it into different components of address. Similarly, it can take a, a name and parse it into uh, different components of the name, such as the first name, last name, and so on and so forth. Then you have uh, all string functions. Now, if you are uh, dealing with the text data, you can do concatenation, ends with, find inside the string, do a substring. Uh, you can remove the parts of the string and so on and so forth. Um, 
you can use regular expressions you can you have access to a bunch of file functions date time functions so any of these functions can be used to build your expressions however in this case uh, it's a very simple expression that we're going to work with so let's look at the right hand side part if you expand this tree it shows me all the available attributes using which I can write the expression since we brought in only four I can see only four attributes using which I'm going to write the expression since in this case um, our expression is going to be a very simple expression where we are concatenating these four fields to form a big full address let's go ahead and have a look at that uh, so I'm going to highlight address and double click on it it automatically added it here then I want to add a plus because I want to concatenate and I want to put a space so I put a space then I do another plus and then I want to do the city as you can see here as I start typing it will show me in IntelliSense all the functions and uh, all the attributes available so I use the city and uh, after that I want to put a comma so I'll put a comma and then I want to put the country uh, actually I would like to do the postal code first let's do postal code and uh, then do a, a comma and then do the country so I just created a rule that takes these four and this is how it concatenates them click on compile it is successful click on OK and my expression is done so that's how uh, you can create expression you can go ahead and uh, click on preview data and it shows you how it's the, going to look like in destination. You can see here it has concatenated the address, the zip code, and the country. This concludes the this help video. Thanks for watching.